the fifth essential suit that we like to tell people after you kind of go through the light grays, the charcoal, the black, and the navy, is maybe you want to start moving into the bold blue. Some people call it the true blue. It's one of those looks that are going to be a standout. That suit is going to pop from across the room. It doesn't matter if you're indoors or outdoors in a dark setting or a light setting. That suit is going to show up. So with that, you don't really want to have it compete. And that's one thing we say about our teal suit, our maroon suit, those bold color suits. You don't want them competing. Meaning, go with a white shirt, go with classic stylish colors. You don't want to pull in a really bright red shirt to go with that. Two, these two colors, they're not necessarily going to clash, but it's going to be too much color in the shirt, too much color in the suit, and it's going to more make you look not very well put together when that suit is going to look so, so stylish. So with that, we recommend going with a white shirt, go with the light pastel colors again, like the light blue, the light pink, but having that white and a black tie, you can go with a red tie with the bold blue. It's a really governmental look, I would say, if that's a word. It's having something that people are really going to see that suit pop out. The bold tie is going to come out as well. But when you're doing that, go white pocket square, white shirt. So the max you're going to have is two bold colors in it. One bold color, one bold pattern. It wouldn't go anything beyond that. So when it comes to that bold blue, bold blue that fifth essential suit that we call it, really just make sure you're letting the suit hold its own and don't try and compete with any other colors, which is advice that we give all the time with the bold colors that people are buying, like that teal, like that maroon, like the bold blue. So thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions about the bold blue, any advice that you can give to our readers or, or someone who's gonna see this, please feel free to leave a comment. And again, any questions, comment, send us an email. We'd love to connect with you.